Hello, my name is Jennifer Lunze and I am product manager for respiratory care. Today I would like to explain you the setup for the oxygen high flow therapy at the Evita V800. After switching on the device and fulfilling the system self test and the breathing circuit test, the therapy type can be chosen on tab 3. After choosing the oxygen therapy, you can set the values oxygen concentration, constant flow and Pmax. The constant flow can be set from 2 liter per minute to 80 liter per minute. I will demonstrate the setup for the high flow oxygen therapy at the Evita V800. The setup for the Evita V600 is the same. The high flow oxygen therapy can be done with a dual lamp hose system or with a single limb hose system. In the first step, I will show the setup for the dual limb hose system. For the high flow oxygen therapy, you need a high flow nasal cannula, which is available in different sizes, and an adapter to connect the high flow nasal cannula to the Y piece. To finalize the setup, you have to disconnect the test lung, connect the adapter to the Y piece, and then you have to connect the high flow nasal cannula to the adapter. If you use a single limb hose system for the high flow oxygen therapy, then you can connect the high flow nasal cannula directly with the inspiratory limb. An adapter is not needed. The setup for the Vita V600 and V800 is identical. Before starting the high flow oxygen therapy, do the settings for oxygen concentration, constant flow and Pmax. Then start the high flow oxygen therapy by pressing the start button and confirm with the rotary knob. I would like to demonstrate the setup for the high flow oxygen therapy for the Evita Infinity V500. The setup for the Babyloop VN500 and the Evita V300 is identical. For high flow oxygen therapy and the Evita Infinity V500, you have to use a single lamp hose system and a pop off valve at the inlet of the humidifying chamber. To finalize the setup for high flow oxygen therapy, you have to connect the high flow nasal cannula to the inspiratory limb. To start the high flow oxygen therapy with the Evita Infinity V500, you have to press the start ventilation button and confirm with the rotary knob. For high flow oxygen therapy, you can adapt the settings for O2 concentration and constant flow. The setup for the high flow oxygen therapy with the humidifier Aquapore H300 is the same like with the Fischer and Pike MR850. The part numbers are different for each system. I would like to explain the difference in setup for high flow oxygen therapy in Evita V800 and Evita Infinity V500. For the Evita Infinity V500 and also for the Bibelog VN500 and Evita V300, you can only use a single lamp hose system with a pressure relief valve. For the Evita V800 and Evita V600, you can use, as shown here, a dual lamp system and also a single lamp system without pressure relief valve because you have the pressure limitation um, on the display. Now I would like to explain the setup for the Babylook VN800. For the Babylook VN600 is the same setup. In this case we have the Babylook VN800 and the Fischer and Peichel FNP950 with a dual limp host system, but you can also use this as a single limp host system if you disconnect the inspired limp from the white piece. Um, as patient interface we have here the uh, OptiFlow Junior 2 from Fischer and Peichel, the ventilator transition kit. This is available in different sizes and you can, can connect it to the Y piece of the dual limb host system. You have to disconnect the flow sensor, you have to connect the adapter to the Y piece and then you can connect the patient interface. If you would like to use the dual limb host system as a single limb host system, you can disconnect the inspirator limb from the Y piece and then you can connect the adapter with the patient interface to the inspiratory limb and can then use the high flow oxygen therapy. 
To start the high flow oxygen therapy, you can set the oxygen concentration, the constant flow and the pressure limitation. Then you can press the start button and confirm with the rotary knob.